Hi, this is Josh. Today, finally, I have attached a Jasper GPU 65 nanometer successfully to a Xenon motherboard. You can see here the two GPUs. On the left, we have the original 90 nanometer GPU Y1. And on the right, we have the 65 nanometer Jasper GPU Zeus. Now, you can see that this is a Xenon. Just like the Zephyrs and Falcon, I removed a few resistors and changed the value of some other resistors for the PCIe and memory calibration. The FSB calibration was completed using the same resistor method where you remove this resistor and take another resistor and connect it to the upper pad tying to vGPU core. However, unlike on the Zephyr where I connected it to this conveniently located vGPU core on the top of this cap, I simply exposed here uh, with my grinder pen where the vGPU core plane is here and attach the resistor kind of diagonally. And that works perfectly. Also, more modifications have to be made. And these are the changes that you could probably see up here. Like on the Zephyr, we have this tie between vGPU PCIe and vGPU core. That regulator was removed. But then what is this? This is the rerouting of the PCIe traces. The Xenon and Zephyr A have a different layout for the PCIe traces between the GPU and the South Bridge. So this is my version of the Senator Man mod, which is something created by Senator Man in order to attach GPU Rhea to Xenon. However, I put my own little spin on it and here is my result. Other than that, we also are running the Jasper bootloader. Now, there is a restriction, so let's talk about it. HDMI consoles on the latest dashboard have a value of 12 for the CBLDV. This also applies to Xenons that were repaired or refurbished by Microsoft and received a Type 2 key vault. They also will have a value of 12. However, Xenons that were not repaired or refurbished by Microsoft and still have a Type 1 KV will be at 11. I believe this is how Microsoft is locking out the KV type. This causes us an issue when we try to run Jasper bootloaders in retail mode. The retail bootloader will not run because it expects the LDV of 12. However, we would only have 11. Obviously, if we're using RGH, this limitation is removed as glitch two images ignore the CB LDV entirely. But for a retail system, only Xenons that have type two KVs will be able to run retail with the Jasper bootloader and the Jasper 65 nanometer GPUs. It is possible that in the future we may come up with a solution to this, but as of right now, the restriction stands, and it is something that I have tested. About JTAGs, I'm not sure if I mentioned this previously, but on the Falcon and Zephyr, when you want to do that for a JTAGable system, you'll need to blow the CBLDV to 5, since the Jasper bootloader expects a CBLDV of 5. Due to that, you have to blow a fuse, and it's an irreversible process. On Xenon, it's the same story. If we wanted to run the Jasper JTAG bootloader, we would have to blow the CBLDV to 5. And because we're not using a retail image, but a free boot image on JTAG, the fact that the key vault is not a type 2 KV does not matter, and JTAG will work anyway. To summarize, type 1 Xenons cannot use retail, type 2 Xenons can, and Glitch and JTAG have the same requirements as they did on the Zephyr and Falcon with this mod applied. Before I begin, I want to just explain why I have some debug LEDs hooked up here. This is going to be the SMC heartbeat indicator. This LED is the error indicator. And this LED is the PCIe bus trained indicator. And the reason I have these hooked up is so that when I was rewiring the PCIe traces, if it failed, I would be able to determine where the failure was. Using the heartbeat indicator, I can determine whether or not the CPU and SMC have handshaked. And with the PCIe trained indicator, I can determine whether link was established between the south bridge and the GPU. As helpful as the red ring code is, sometimes having additional information like this can be helpful, and that's why I added these LEDs. All right, let's give the system a boot. It's booting. 
And yeah, here you can see Xenon motherboard. There's the part number. Up in the retail dash, as I said, this system has a Type 2 KV from Microsoft, so we can boot retail, otherwise we'd have to use Glitch or JTAG. And uh, yeah, here she is. I'll give you one more look at it. There's that GPU, 65 nanometer 